Hi guys, hi hi, what's up, what's going on? Oh, ha, ha, ha. My name is Jalen, in case you're seeing me for the first time. And hey, we're about to slay this hair, we're about to slay these locks. These are called Toshiana wavy locks. Toshiana wavy locks from Toya Tress. Look how gorgeous they look. So let's get started with the installation. So this is my hair. Hi, hi. Very healthy, growing so well. So I apply my I applied my aloe vera oil in the first place before anything. Yeah, so that's why you see my hair looking good, looking shiny, looking all fantastic. No more dandra, no more scratching of my hair. My hair is good. Okay, so I'll link the oil down in the description box so i'm going to section my hair and then we begin the installation all right yeah so i'm going to section quickly quickly section my hair if you want a quick way on how to start doing your own hair is learning to section your hair it is so important when you section hair you make it easier so we're going to do individual locks at the front so i want to show you how to do individual locks okay the how is it called like this method oh. individual locks but this kind of method so anyway first of all i needed to try out the size and see if the locks will fit in to the big size i really needed them bigger but i'm trying to to see the size at which the lock can be able to swallow my hair yeah so i went in with this size right here to actually like test out and see hey which which size can i do for my locks in order for them to fit in because they're already crocheted so i'm just going to make them i'm going to make my natural hair pass through the lock yeah does that make sense yeah but it's good you're watching so i went in braided one hair to test out the size of the braids that i should do whether i should do small medium large yeah to any any size that i really want to see if it can really like fit in so i braided it all the way down because my braid my hair was kind of like big 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 so this is how it looks and this is the size so i'm going to get one of the locks right here to show you so this is how the locks come it open so let me pass it through like this yeah make it pass down my natural hair just look and understand this is how we do individual locks this is how i do them on my clients uh-huh and after make this tail yeah it's called a tail mm -hmm. yeah pass through mm -hmm. like this like that so this is what you have this is what you have so make the needle pass through this lock normally the lock has a hole inside yeah it has a hole it can uh, pass like the hair can pass through so do not mind about why wow, my hair my hair pass <laughs> no 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 just make it pass through like that until the bottom of the hair like i don't know i'm not so good at explaining eh? yeah until you reach the bottom of the hair yeah so anyway i realized that the lock was kind of big yeah it was big and that is what i was trying to you know to see yes it did pass through like, as you can see it passed through but still it didn't come out as neat as i wanted it to come out like it didn't come out the way i expected it to come out so it was kind of like mm, not smart because of the size and all that so exactly i knew the size that i should do yeah so let me let me show you the size that we did i reduced the size right here trying to make them a little bit smaller so that they can yeah they can fit into my locks so well and pretty look pretty even if i've done my own hair mm -hmm, i still want them to look pretty expensive good fantastic and these locks are from toya Tress. i'm going to leave the link down in the description box they have different colors different colors and the locks are lightweight the locks are lightweight so you don't need to be like ah will it be heavy on my head no so now let's try out on this smaller pattern we see okay so like this make it tiny okay bring the tail the tail pass yeah like that uh-huh and then yeah this is what we have so let's try out in in put the crochet needle inside inside this loop like this and make it pass no 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 we 
yeah make it pass till you reach like the bottom of the braid that is when your lock is going to come out so smart so nice looking yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the bottom is here so what you're just going to do is just to pull and you're good to go okay so just make sure it enters into the loop hold it well like this and then yeah like this and then pull your natural hair you're good to go like that simple secure instant yeah so this size was pretty good so i just went in with a needle like to, to go back and fetch the rest of the hair that i left behind so that it doesn't have to look like your natural hair is supposed to be protected it's supposed to be inside these locks yeah like you're not supposed to see your natural hair does does it make sense yes but it makes sense the hair is supposed to be inside the hair yeah like this so yeah i'm trying to make sure that all my hair is all is put in this braid and yeah we are good to go like that looking good looking good so this is exactly the size that i genuinely need for my hair mm -hmm. i this is the size that i i really need so i went in and i braided small small yeah went i did small small or tiny braids yeah because i want them to fit i want them to fit inside my my look so well so these are called toshiana toshiana they really looked so good on me like after the installation so anyway what i did is i went in did the braids here like at the beginning mm -hmm. i did two lines of individual locks yeah i just needed to show you how to do individual locks and that's all yeah so i did two individual two two lines of individual locks i'm actually going to show you each and everything i liberated like two two rows yeah so someone cannot actually know that behind i didn't do like individual like that so this is how my hair is looking like all done all well done all well braided uh the two braids that i did and this is what we have you can see oh i i think i made a mistake and i kind of braided it behind with it but didn't really like have any big change was just basically in the in the other hair so i removed the hair like this and this is how the behind looks like i braided the behind so two rows of uh, you know of individual looks so this is how the hair came the hair is looking so pretty the strength of the lock the lock is good it is soft lightweight it doesn't have any 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 scent or what like it smells or what like someone would say yo you smell plastic no you smell chemical no so you just put it inside here and you're good to go like this installation is this method is easy for those who want to wear individual locks because the wrap method wrap method sometimes the braid can unravel yeah it does unravel sometimes so in order for you to if you want to get long lasting locks that will stay longer i suggest you try out this individual one it is so good it's so nice i really really love it so let me show you a closer look so that in case you are learning to do it you can do it so like this make it pass stop on the way and then make the tail pass yes make the tail pass you see see make the tail pass like that yes make it tight uh -huh. and then we're going to collect this one yeah we're going to collect this braid right here and make it pass through our 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 lock mm. yeah it's going to pass through our lock from the bottom loop it into the crochet like this just don't be scared of this lock they don't unravel are you seeing any unraveling or are like it getting spoiled like no nothing yeah nothing so you can see don't be scared of the lock continue doing what you're supposed to do and boom the lock is done yeah that's how easy you know it looks the lock doesn't unravel at all just be strong it is me jalia recommending you don't be scared even for a single minute and i told you it's from toy address and they have a cell i saw on the website they do have a cell so make sure you check the description box you use the the link that i've given you to get the cell off what 
installing continue installing continue installing yeah just make it pass through your natural hair this is a great protective style by the way for people who who love to have longer hairstyles like hairstyles that can last up to like two months six weeks three months this is definitely your go-to yeah this is your go-to hair cell so make sure you check out and get the right the right looks for your hair okay so like this yeah oh my gosh yeah. sometimes it gets off so ah sometimes it gets off and it's annoying so anyway i did the behind part as you can see for the behind i didn't i didn't really like do the individual ones i feel behind behind should should suffer alone hmm. I, I cannot do the behind the individual one when like i'm not totally seeing the. i know i don't think i can i can do it no i i, I totally know that i cannot do it so anyway like it's the crochet method you just have to pass it through your natural braid eh? and then you pass it like just on top i don't know like you guys i always do crochet hair cells so make sure you check out other videos in case you don't know how to crochet because this is definitely what you need like any woman who doesn't know how to crochet what do you know eh? what do you know okay <laughs> it's okay even if you don't know how to crochet you come to we the hairstylist we shall do the crochet for you don't mind so the behind part is done and this is how we are looking like okay this is how we are looking like like this this is how my hair is looking like so you see it's good it's fresh you can see like you see them individual individual locks i did two rows so i'm going to go in with this gel to kind of like do the ages mm -hmm. i want to do the ages let's do the ages let's do the ages let's do the ages when you do that guys do not braid your baby hair i see this with most of the people i see this with most of the people like baby hair are not supposed to be braided that's why they don't even grow they're supposed to be kept in a baby stage please women don't braid the baby hair that is why they're called baby hair hmm? it's supposed to be there giving you baby vibes eh? you laying you know adding a bit maybe of gel and all that that is the purpose of baby hair but you guys you spoil the mood you spoil the mood of braiding the baby hair don't, don't braid baby hair at all so just lay the edges simple like this and then you're going to see how the whole look can be like it's going to be a shut up see so went in did my makeup i think i was live when i did this makeup here in my facebook live so make sure you follow me on facebook okay follow me on facebook and see most of my makeup makeup lives added more light and then i wanted to show you how the whole thing is looking like so this is how the individual ones look yeah that is how it's looking like the color is maleficent magnificent okay magnificent color is gorgeous you can choose different colors you can choose the black or the b1 whatever color but this was gorgeous for me i really like it i really love it mm -hmm. Here is from Toya Tris. I loved, loved, loved it. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. They have so many good hair. So make sure you check my description box for you to go. And do check them out. This is how the locks are looking like. This is me after the whole battle. Mm, I did this hair, I think, in about like an hour. I was done. So let's raise him up. Wait, let's raise this hair up. Because some of you will be like, Chala, you should style the hair look so yeah let's style it okay some of my babies who love to wear bands like this look bands this is how you look the way I look is how you look eh? yeah so this is how you will look and if you remove it and you just want to be a senorita or you want to be a mamacita a senorita this is how you will look gorgeous good the beautiful color has suited me so well so i give you Thank you.